dinner time. So what's on the menu this evening? Dan is requesting. What's it called? Well, we're getting bolognese. Get bolognese, but I'm not getting that, am I? You are. I think we turned it into a tagliatelle bolognese. Oh, it's still a bolognese sauce, isn't it? It's got a tagliatelle because we couldn't find fresh egg pasta spaghetti. That's fine. Um, I'm only doing half the mince because I'm going to make them into little meatballs at the minute. I've got that on the go. And once again, it's not properly it's just from a jar but it's fine it works so we do feel a bit stuck in today this afternoon this evening don't we the weather is just awful but on the positive side it's yeah. supposed to be really sunny tomorrow yes that will be good um on the negative side we're struggling with internet aren't we it's been a bit of a nightmare. No, it's not. At least. In we it. <laughs> no, we've got a fantastic signal, Mazzy. You know, for searching through the internet. We've got a signal. It, without signal it, we wouldn't have had a signal, no. And it is uploading the video, and it is going to be done by half past six ish, <laughs> which we'd have had no chance without it. So, no, it's not too bad. Get rid of the dirty juice. Just brown mark in it. Right, jar. Straight in. Mushrooms. Straight in. I'm not feeling any love in that meal. <laughs> There's lots of love in that, darling. And give that a good stir. This is a huge pot full. This is going to last a couple of dinners, babe. So for my tea, we've got a few things that need using. Some chips out the freezer. They need using. That'll be enough. I didn't use all the mints, so I'm just going to make a couple of just a couple of little meatballs. Nothing special. pop that into the oven. Next thing, garlic bread. Big tip I gave on one of my videos quite recently over on my channel. The amount of feedback I got, everybody loved it and they tried doing it and said it was the best way of doing garlic bread. Knob of butter in a frying pan. Don't bother with all this oven malarkey and it's quick as well. The cheapest garlic bread you can get. And you're going to be frying in the um, frying pan. Massive tip for you. Right, I am just going to cook the sauce up for 20 minutes. Um, just get it all ready, basically. Dan doesn't want it for another little while as yet, so. But I've got mine in the oven. Yeah, I have, yeah, mine's in the oven. Right, go and sit down with a coffee. Dinner is ready. Now, if I'd known Dan wasn't going to be eating for a while, I would have saved this. But that's my tea. A few last little bits of chips and two meatballs out of the leftovers. Don't like wasting food. Good morning. Good morning. First thing to show you this morning. What? The, the berries. The berries, oh, Mazzy. Yeah. Look what we've parked next to. These fir trees here, and these are the most beautiful berries I've ever seen in my life. Look at them, oh, they're falling off. Let me get one. Look, you just want to eat them, don't you? I'm not going to, don't be, I'm not stupid. They look like bees. They do look like bees, they're beautiful. Yeah, lovely trees all the way along. Right, so what a wonderful stop. I think there were 15 of us here last night, motorhomes and vans. I thought you said 17. No, well, they probably well, there were 15 when I woke up. Yeah, and one And a few had left. already gone. Yeah. Um, right next to the lock. And you should have seen that first thing this morning. It looked like there was uh, 
cotton wool on top of it. Really misty, weird phenomenon going on down there. What can I say? Wow. It's like someone's dropped some cotton wool on top of the lock. That is incredible. So we're moving on today, I think we're off to Dunoon. I think that's the plan, isn't it, Mazza? Uh-huh. Dunoon. It's yeah, an hour's it's drive away. Town or something, isn't it? Yeah, we're not sure what to expect. Yeah. Have been before, but can't remember it, so. It's cold this morning. It is freezing. Really cold. Really cold. <laughs> Let's crack on, Mazza. Let's yeah. do this day. What beautiful views we got. It is spectacular now. It is getting nicer and nicer. Got a few mirror effects on the locks. Yeah, that is almost mirrored, isn't it? Well, sort of. The autumn colours. Beautiful. I've decided, by the way. Yeah. Can't drive with my boots on. Yeah. <laughs> my feet were just slipping off the pedals. We had to pull over so I could put my trainers on. Where are we headed to? The noon. Oh, yeah. Onto the next peninsula. I don't think we're going to be on that peninsula very long, maybe a day or two. I think initially you thought we were going to be round, round Loch Lomond for like, well you give me the impression we'd be round it for five days or something. I thought Loch Lomond was going to be full of like forestry places where we could go in for bike rides and walks and stuff but there wasn't much going on so. We started sort of way beneath the bottom of it before we knew it we were at the top of it. Near the and top. It, and it was only an hour our journey. Yeah. <laughs> so that didn't make sense. Anyway, look at this. So we actually think this glider might be following us. <laughs> it's pretty cool. He's definitely following us. Do you think? Yeah. He must know who we are, that's why he waved. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what I'm noticing, Mazze. Yeah? I know they're saying a lot more motorhomes on the road this year and stuff. Yeah. Camper vans. Yeah. So many camper vans. Well, he has followed us all the way to Danu. And he's been waving at me again. <laughs> Can you see him? Here we are in Danu. It's still the same day, by the way. I've got changed, I've redone my hair. It's warmer. <laughs> We've been here five minutes and Mazzy already thinks she's seen a seal and the Loch Ness Monster. No, the Nessie's daughter, actually, because right. it was smaller. Both turned out to be rocks. <laughs> it's beautiful on the front here. Really nice. Um, the town itself, it looks very towny. It's got a Morrison's supermarket. And it's just over that way. So we're just going to go see what it's got to offer. Yeah, if I have been here before, Mazzy, I certainly can't remember it. Yeah, I don't think I've been here. You might have done, because you were in Danoon, weren't you, on your 365? I've, done, I've certainly passed it. I might have just stopped here for a couple of minutes, but I don't think I've looked around the town. Yeah. Oh, that glider man, as nice as it was to start with, starting to do me head in. We're talking about like 30 miles away, he's been following us. Yeah. He's followed us He's been in the air here. for about an hour. But he keeps waving, and we just parked up, and I was like, yay! <laughs> Dunoon Pier. Down there. It's going to be very difficult today, Mazzy. Why? Because I can't see. What do you mean you can't the see? The sun is so bright, I oh, can't see yeah, what I'm looking at. To, yeah, even these ain't cutting it. <laughs> um, I think we'll just go into the town centre now, see what's up there. Yeah? If it... I think we've come to the edge on this side and the towny bit was more in there, so we'll just take a wander in there. Yeah, I'm tired, I don't know, it always happens to me. Does that happen to everyone else? Once you've been driving for an hour, you're just exhausted. It was more than an hour. No, it was an hour. Was it? Was it? it was an hour. It always uh, tires me out, and then I just want to go to bed. <laughs> but hopefully I'm going to wake up. I just need to see something historic to wake me up, Mazzy, and excite me. A cup of coffee or something to eat first. No? If we see all. 
charity shop. Are you serious? I just want to have a look. <laughs> Bernardo's. <laughs> All I've seen so far, Mazzy, is about Bars. eight takeaways and four pubs yeah. and a restaurant. <laughs> and a Bernardo's. Yeah. After you, madam. What? <laughs> what have you got? Just this dress. A summer dress. It's not summer. I can wear it with tights and boots. It was in fashion when you picked it up. Well, you're that long. It's gone out no, of fashion. Now. I know. The lady in front of me was a nightmare. Do you want your card back or what? <laughs> I just saw something really cool, Mazda. Yeah? Look at this for a kid's toy. What is that? I don't know if you can see it up there. <coughs> Paper recycler. Oh, yeah. Paper recycler. What a brilliant, brilliant way to get kids to start recycling. Yeah, that's good. I'm guessing you put paper in and mush it up mush and then it dry up. it out or something. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> That's a sad sight, Mazzy. Yeah, looks like a restaurant. A restaurant burned down. Yeah. God, I bet that were a right blaze in the town centre. You've still got all oh, bits sure. of menus and all sorts strewn across it. Glass bottles. What a shame. Shopping too. For I you, see. for you. I uh, know. <laughs> I've been trying to get her into wearing thermals. So these are for men actually, but I'm hoping they they're going to fit you. Yeah. But heat control, yeah. Yeah. Tenner altogether. Yeah. If they don't fit you, they'll fit me. Yeah, it won't go away. So that seems a bit cheap. Ten quid for a thermal. You're an expert on those, aren't you? I am. Right. Yeah, I'd like to have known what was there. I imagine that's quite recent that's happened, wouldn't you? Definitely. Yeah. Gizmo. Male Staffordshire Bull Terrier gone missing. If anyone's seen it, £5,000 reward. Yeah, look, look on the side of the building, an old cigarette machine. Good ass. 30p. <laughs> Making a lot of new friends today, aren't you, Mazzy? I've just found what I'm looking for. We've got to go in here. She's <laughs> been asking every old lady, no, where can I get a walking stick from? <laughs> I need one. <laughs> well, then they told me to have a look in the charity shops, but actually I've just spotted one in here. Should we get, let's get a mask. So. Art. That's actually really nice, I like that. Decided we like that, we both like that. Yeah. I don't know why it's called Snow Seeker. Oh, it's because it's a red hot day and they want a bit of sun, probably. Snow. Snow. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, Done by Brian Phillips. £360. Pounds. It's got a beautiful church. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Very, very <laughs> small, but tall. Look at this building here. I'm that used to be an old school or town hall or something. Yeah, I see the line on the side there, look, precariously. Yeah, I don't think they'll see it, but just here there's a lion. The old post office, it says it up on the side of the building. What did you just say? You need that for your man cave. I need a man cave first, man. Yeah, I know, yeah. But Soon as I get one. <laughs> the motorcycle bar. I don't know if bar. you can see it properly, are you? Are they? No, the lighting is terrible. We probably can't see it, but it is a motorcycle. It's upcycled from very With a bar on top of it. Parts. There you go, look, in case anyone wants to give them a call and get one. £699 bargain to look completely cool. It's even got a little bucket with a for your wines, little wine holders here. This is a peculiar shop. It's a very peculiar shop, yeah. You like that, don't you? Brilliant. Again, yeah. I don't know how well the light's going to show that, but it is a man on a on a bike is made out of a bike chain. All that effort for, to then charge sixteen quid. It's not happening, is Fantastic. it? Fantastic. <laughs> no, this horse though, it's amazing. Oh, you like the horse? Yeah, that's what I mean. Looks a bit like one of the kelpies, doesn't it? Yeah, and you got a buffalo there too. That's hundred and ninety pounds. That's a buffalo, two hundred and fifty. Yeah, I think they're pretty good prices what they are. And I love this spark yeah, yeah. plug, little spark plug men. This is the kind of thing I wanted to get into once upon a time. Yeah. I wanted to learn how to do it and start making things like that. Oh my gosh, even that's things only like 18 this. quid. 
And a beautiful mirror as well. Look at that, Mazzy, for yeah, only £30. Pretty. Really nice. The 51st state. We've been to one of them. Can you remember? We've yeah. Route 7 or something. Route 77 or something. But look, it actually says Italian. Bar and Grill, American, oh. and Italian, don't know. It looks really good inside, I like it. Do you want to get a house? We can here, can't we? In the noon. Yeah! How much are we talking, Mozzie? Well, I don't know what this is. Uh, what is that? That's £37,500 yeah. for a flat. You've got a house there for 55000 57000 60,000. Hold on, what's this for? Fifth? Oh no. Half a yeah. million, and that's yeah. like a castle. Or a normal house, let. 57. So cheap. Gosh. Detached houses, 115,000 pounds. Could sell the van, we're almost there, aren't we? Come on, put it on. I haven't seen it in a mirror. It's fantastic when you go fly fishing, has it? Three pounds. Oh, very bad. You just caught me up. And you were haggling with the lady. I, in the... What haggling? She said, How does three pounds sound right? Because it didn't and have then a price silence, tag. Silence. Because I thought, impressive. because I thought, do I really need this? I, I, I didn't go in there looking for a hat. <laughs> I didn't want to waste money, that's so. <laughs> anyway, it's one way of hiding this hair, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to know what kind of entertainment's on in Dulu, we've got Fleetwood Mac Tribute Band. October the 30th and Psychic Night with Queen's Hall on November the 8th. Both sound pretty cool. I've got a story about that actually. About what? So, do you, if, if anyone remembers Psychic Sally? No. I went to see her once. It was good. I think you're all you the person who's heard of her. Do you remember Psychic look. Sally? No. Never heard of her. She used to be on TV. What did she do? Psychicness stuff. Psychicness stuff? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was really good. It's a good night out. Well, she had a good name for it, didn't she? Psychic Sally, if she did psychicness stuff. <laughs> You're sarcastic. If she'd have been a bobslayer, she'd have had a silly name, wouldn't she? Psychic Sally the bobslayer. <laughs> We're heading back now to a shop to get Mazzy a uh, walking stick. It's one of them fold-up ones, you know. Yeah. It's not ideal, but it'll do. And while we're there, I'm going to get something, Mazzy. I'm going to turn Scottish. Proper Scottish. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Are you ready for the question of the day? Yeah. For all those viewers, they have to comment and say what it is. Well, I know what it is, but what do you use it for? What is that? It's down here. And it's called a porridge spurtle. You any ideas? Just get the lumps out of your porridge, innit? <laughs> really? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Please leave your answers in the comments. I want to know what a porridge spurtle is. Now, there's a reason I've got this. If you look at my mask, it's got a pointy nose and I look like a right wally, even though it's Liverpool, yeah? Yeah, it's old. It's really old, that now, anyway. And it's mucky. <laughs> Not wearing that one anymore. I've got another one, Mazzy. Are you yeah. ready for this? Yeah. Keep them waiting. Surprises all. Are you ready? Yeah, you're going to look alright. I am. Uh, I don't know which way around it goes. <laughs> yes! There you go. How's that? Yeah, that's good. Turn oh. to the side. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Yeah. It stinks. Does it? Mm. Oh, what? Hey, it looks good, though. It looks good. It looks better than a Liverpool one, if I'm on it. I just have to keep my mouth closed. Yeah, now that, everyone yeah, will think I I'm agree. Scottish. I absolutely agree, darling. <laughs> I do like the shop over the road, Mazzy. It's an e-cigarette shop. There's a sign for it. Here, look. The Great Evape. Very clever name. Very clever. Yeah. So, what have we established? That you're going to be using your walking stick. I'm going to try. I've got because to you're limping. Yeah, I need it really bad. And I've just realised, when you're using your stick, you're yeah. not going to be able to hold my hand, because that'll be your holding oh, no. hand. And I don't know how to use one of these. Um, your mask, that's what I'm saying. It's small, isn't it? It's a bit it? small, yeah, it's pulling on my ears a bit. Is it? It could probably loosen that. I don't know, it's alright, just. And I managed to get my headphones and a socket as well. Oh no, that looks flimsy and bendy. It's fine, Mazzy. If that gives way, I'm going to hurt myself. I don't know how to tighten or loosen it. I don't know if you can. <laughs> I don't know how to 
<laughs> what? It had to come to you one day, love. Ow. Ow. Come on, get on your stick. There you go. I need to practice how to use this. I need it to get in and out of the bed. I think it's a bit tall. Okay. Action. Babe, <laughs> stop it. Don't take the mic. I need it. <laughs> never slept with a pensioner before. <laughs> right, clothing and footwear shop. You can rent it for £650 a month or buy it for £89,000. You can buy a shop, Mazzy, for £89,000. Yeah. You won't be able to see them, but loads of oyster catchers down here. Absolutely beautiful, and there's the odd little baby one as well, which is still grey. And last time I was here, you were watching back on an old video of mine this morning. Yeah, right? and you were asking what these birds were. Obviously, yeah. you know now. I but... didn't know what an oyster catching was. Yeah. That's how naive I was when it came to bird spotting. They are just, I don't know, something about them. You could just sit here and watch them all day with the big orange beaks poking into the what seaweed. Are they digging out? Bottle tops for the nests. So that's his little walk around Danoon. What did you think of Danoon? Really lovely, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Such a peaceful atmosphere here today, which I like. The weather, beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> you know, it absolutely belted it down yesterday, and today is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it's a proper town. Um, yeah. We weren't expecting that, you know, on this little peninsula in the middle of nowhere. I really wasn't expecting a big town. But it's a pretty big town, is this? Yeah. Everything you need. Something I have noticed, petrol prices are ridiculous. Really? On this peninsula, yeah. I don't remember passing a petrol station. At £1.45, which is... it's too much. It's too much. That's like BP prices, isn't it? It's, it's like a service station <laughs> yeah. on... Motorway prices. Look how far the water's gone out, just in that sort of arrow that we'd been gone. Yeah, it was up to here, and now it's all the way out here. Which is what's brought all the oyster catchers out. Yeah. I'm in utter shock. We've just had a message. It's incredible, isn't it? Don't you just love this job when things yeah. like this happen? Earlier today we were telling you about a guy who seemed to be following us on like a glider. And Ele I said for a laugh, he must have known us because he was waving, which was just a joke. Yeah. I've just had a message from him, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's called Michael. He's, it's called Fle he's a flex wing pilot. How on earth did he know that was us from that distance? He said he kind of found us and followed us for a while today. Sorry I couldn't fly closer. If you'd have stopped somewhere with no houses nearby, I'd have given you a little flying display. Oh! He's based at Strathaven in Lanarkshire, but fly all over the UK. If you or Mazzy ever want to try it, anyway, a few pics. Yeah, we've got some pictures. <laughs> and there's pictures. I haven't even seen them properly. Can you see that? Yeah. It looks clean on top, doesn't I it, I wonder Mazzy? if he caught me waving at him. Oh, there's me. How incredible. <laughs> I think that was the first lay-by we parked at, wasn't it? I'm not sure. Where we spotted him What's originally. That? Is that a castle behind there? Don't know what that is. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Thank Michael. You've met us there. That's funny. <laughs> we yeah. had a feeling you were following us. No, not really. Not in real life. But I'm how, just joking. How did he know it were us? Yeah. Hundreds, Incredible. Hundreds of motorhomes. Loved it. Thank you yeah, very much. Yeah, thank you, Michael. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, we're moving on now. We're still in Danoon. Yeah. Uh, we could have parked here for the night, but it's right next to the road. I'm not yeah, I'm not hundred percent keen. Yeah. So we're gonna go try and find another spot for the night. Yeah. And then dinner time. And then dinner time. Bit disappointed in these, Mazzy. Why? Well I've got them out as you can see. Yeah. Just turn the light on for me so we can see them a bit better. Yeah. There. Um I thought they were gonna take batteries or something. What? Well, well, it says like heat control, super thermal, tog rating 0.45, and look, it shows them glowing and all sorts. I thought they were going to have like a battery pack on the back. <laughs> They're just clothes. They're 
that, isn't they? Yep, you're going to be putting them on before you underneath your pyjamas no, tonight. No, these were your ones. They're yours. I'm I not having liked... you moaning about being cold ever I again. I would have liked long sleeves. I don't... <laughs> you can put a long sleeve on top of that. You are putting that on today. And you're going to let us all know tomorrow if you are lovely and warm at night. Okay? Now take that hat off because you look like an old man out of uh, <laughs> it's uh, stuck on my summer head. wine. Stuck on my hair. Ow! <laughs> it's not the kindest peninsula for motorhome parking, I've found out. It's not terrible. Well, Danoon is okay. You have got a big stretch on the front you can park on. Yeah. But apart from that, there's no wild camping spots. All the car parking bits say uh, no overnight sleeping. I did find a really nice big car park. Yeah, coach no park. One there. Loads of empty caravans in there. Yeah. But I read the small print, no overnight, sleeping. no sleeping no between sleeping. 11, 11 at night and 7 at morning, so not risking it. Yeah. Uh, and the only other place I knew about, it was £10 just to park there, so I wasn't going to pay that when there's no services. And it wasn't even a brilliant place. So anyway, we found somewhere, haven't yeah, we? We're it's all right. Second night while camping. Yeah. It's been all right. But his battery's getting a bit low on his jackery, Mazzy, so I might have to look really? for a campsite tomorrow. Really? On that particular one, on the one thousand well, watt one. We've got the, we've got the little one. one. Come on, if we can do three days, we've saved sixty to ninety quid. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. It's just uh, Liverpool are on tomorrow, half past twelve. Just need good internet and lots of power and stuff. I'll tell you now, you'll probably get better internet somewhere like this. They're not on any campsite anyway. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say goodbye to them all, yeah. Yeah, and thank you again. Massive thank you. Was it Michael, the oh, Michael, glider yeah. man? Oh, Michael, I liked your name. I don't know if it's your real name or you did said it for oh, a while. his Facebook name. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, that made my day, That's going to have to be the title, something yeah. to do with that. Yeah. Stalked by a glider or something. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Catch you all tomorrow. Have a lovely evening. Yeah. Love y'all. Weekend's coming. Bye bye. Bye.